All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do the crumple. Now, first you need to wear gloves. You always need to wear gloves when you're working with these because these shirts were soaked in soda ash. It doesn't hurt your hands, but it will dry them out. So I like to wear gloves. And this one is probably the easiest one to do. Maybe, I think it's pretty easy. Okay, so you'll just kind of bunch it together. You just kind of push it all together. Push them together and kind of get a nice mound like that. I'm gonna show you one more time. Your shirt's nice and flat. Then you kind of push it together. I like to work from all the sides first and then push in more. So then I've got a nice wadded up pile of shirt. Then you take rubber bands. We're gonna use no more than six rubber bands in STEM. If you did this at home and your parents wanted to let you use more than six, you could. But in STEM, we're only gonna use six at the most. I think four is the best number to use. Okay, so now you just wrap your rubber band around. You want it pretty tight. At least wrap it around one time, but if you can wrap it around two times, that will be even better. Okay, so I did two times on that time. You know what, I think I can even do a fourth one. Okay, so I did four times on that one. Now I'm gonna go this way, then I'll go this way and this way. All right, wrapping it around tight. Oh, I can go around one more time. I like to make sure my rubber bands kind of lay right on top of each other. I think it gives it a tighter look. Okay, so now I've got two rubber bands on, one going this way and one going this way. Now I'm gonna do one this way. So if you're looking at it and it looks like a lot is hanging out, you can just poke it underneath another rubber band if you wanted to, or you can just leave it that way. That's up to you. Whatever part is showing will get dye on it. The part that's really tight is the tight part that's gonna stay white, and that's what's gonna show your design. All right, now you're ready to dye it.